Everybody, can any of you guess where I'm going? She's going can to any, the mental institute. Can any of you guess where we're going? They're putting her in the room just next by, to Napoleon. Just by looking at what I'm wearing on my head. Hmm? Can you? I straightened my hair today, and I got a what? What? What kind of band is this? Strange. Okay, a strange band on my head. Can any of you guess? And Kevin is dressed very appropriately for the occasion. Always. He's got his green McLean's Irish pub hat. He's got a t-shirt on that has a um, green man on it. And he's got his vest of many pockets. And I am wearing... A green long dress with flowy sleeves and belts. So, we will see you when we get where we're going. See if you can guess. Bye. Okay, guys, so here's another clue. I have a poison ring on. She's going shopping for a new husband? <laughs> Why would I go shopping for a new husband when I have such a perfect one? I don't know. It's with the poison ring. I'm buttering him up, guys. <laughs> Alright. I know it's like around here somewhere. It's down a little more, more ways. There's a kennel up there. Moo. <laughs> kennel? Moo? I thought you said cattle. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot. Cannot. So look at all the forests out this way. All these trees. Woohoo! Right yeah. There's a little bit of water in it. Yes. Let me see. Oh, there's a there's water. See there's water over there, guys. We have water in California. We're just not allowed to use it. <laughs> um I think it's coming up. Okay, I'm going to turn the, side, the, the camera off because you guys can't see where we're going. Last clue, everybody. <laughs> I'm confused. You're confused? Yep. Why on earth would you be confused? Oh. Come forth, my fine son. So, I'm not quite dressed for the occasion. But uh, here we are at the Toronto uh, Renaissance Fair. It's the last day, so it's not real crowded. And it's Father's Day. We're shooting at each other over there. So this is what we're doing. And it's uh, going to be Val's first time walking around. Slowly. Slowly. Hey guys, so we're here at the Coronaberg Renaissance Fair. And I, as you all know, I used to sell at Ren Fairs. And here is one of my best friends from Ren Fair, Julie, <laughs> and she sells healing fairies. And this is just some of the stuff, the amazing stuff that she sells. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you do. I make figurines out of polymer clay and I do fantasy art with steampunk and fairies. Um, I had make fairy houses as well. Behind you, thing. And there we go. Made out of mostly natural fibers and fibers. Uh, some fairies have stolen some buttons and put them on there as well. Get the beautiful, and they, they got beds. I also do pendants. All hand done as well. And do you have a website that people can also purchase off of? Yes, I do. It's uh, www.juliesfairies.com. 
fairies.com. So if anybody likes fairies, fairy houses, steampunk, we got sleeping fairies here. With sleeping bags. Oh, those are cute. I didn't notice those. And snails and pumpkins and mushrooms and, and hats. Hats, pendants. She pretty much makes I'm everything. My 30 year old and that is my steamed escargots. <laughs> So, pretty awesome. She's an awesome lady. She's extremely, extremely talented. So, if you guys want to get anything fairy, this is the lady to come to. I didn't really have dinosaurs in the fairy Barbs garden. and Noble Garden. This is what chess boards look like many, many years ago. <laughs> just, like, just like our cats, they <laughs> like their butts rubbed. <laughs> What? Quack, quack. Quack? Half quack. Half quack. Half quack. Oh, look at the one in the water. <laughs> That's us. Quack. Honk. And we got some little horsies. He's got a blinder on for some reason. How do you feed? Where do you get food to feed the ponies? Right here. Can I feed the ponies? What do they like better? I don't know. She's the one that feeds them all the time. I've never given them ground crackers before. They love apples. Okay. Usually I try to oh give them Oh my goodness! You were greedy. Go the greedy, greedy, greedy. Got an apple. Climbing down everything. Got an apple bite. Oh, the other one's coming along. There you go. How about an apple? She's got an apple. Ah. She's Oh, well, now you got so both their attentions, huh? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spectacle. That's a compass. Who hasn't got that? If I had him, you won't let me get anywhere else. He's a goat. He's a pig. He's a pig. You gotta look at Is me. me. Is it me? <laughs> it's steampunk, and you know, it's really hard to tell if it's you with your other hat on. <laughs> I, I like those hats on you. That's one of my favorite bands that he's, that he's wearing on it. Do you want to try one of the, the other hats? I, I still like the... The bowler? Yeah, the bowler. Better. Look in the mirror, see what you like. He's from Troy. 300. 
Spartan. Is that Spartan? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even so much that I would die, it's that I would die like a moron. <laughs> One. Two. Two and a half. friends from when I was doing fairs and uh, walk around and see some exciting things and have some fun and buy a few little trinkets here and there. Hope you enjoyed it.